Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Sims. State investigators are on the scene of another officer involved shooting in less than two weeks. This time in Kenosha, a police officer shot and killed a 26 year old man after trying to arrest him on a felony warrant. Police say when the officer confronted the suspect, he pulled out a weapon. The officer then fired his gun, killing the man. It's scary. I was shaking when I came into work. It is it's a little it's scary. You know, you've heard about all this in Ferguson. Police are not saying what type of weapon the suspect grabbed. The officer was put on leave pending the investigation. Hundreds packed Madison East High School today to remember a 19 year old shot and killed by a Madison police officer. A recent autopsy report says that Tony Robinson was shot in the head, torso and right arm. The shooting followed a confrontation between Robinson and Officer Matt Kenny. Many came out today to pay their respects. One of Robinson's friends says that his family was like a second family to him. But Tony was like a brother, brother to me, and blood couldn't make it any different. His mother, Andrea, and his siblings, aunts, uncles, and grandparents accepted me as if I was family also. I can always count on them to be there for me with open arms. The case is being investigated by the state's Division of Criminal Investigation. Well, the Harlem Globetrotters are honoring three Kenosha Middle School basketball players. The players defended a cheerleader who has Down syndrome. Desiree was being bullied from the stands, so three players walked off the court to confront the bullies. The Harlem Globetrotters are now honoring these kids with their Junior Phenom Award. And exciting news from Summerfest this year. You can watch a concert without actually even going to Summerfest. Organizers will be live streaming some concerts on their website up to four hours a night from six different stages. Summerfest is just June 24th. Well, hundreds of people packed downtown Milwaukee today to celebrate St. Patty's Day. The Shamrock Club of Wisconsin held its 49th annual parade. There were more than 140 floats, Irish dancers and bands. Even our old Charles Benson and Bridget Shanahan were there to participate. Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. What a day, what a day, what a mighty fine day. We had abundant sunshine, just some fluffy, you know, fair weather cumulus clouds just make the sky look kind of interesting once in a while. And our temperatures, while not quite as warm as yesterday, 65, still plenty above average. And we'll go over those numbers in just a moment. But in your weather headlines on this Saturday night, a persistent pattern continues with the quiet air around us. No big storms in the offing, a sunny Sunday on tap with some 60s returning to the picture soon. All right, so going into the record book officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International, the high temperature 57 degrees, the morning low 42 degrees, and the normals 42 and 27, the high and low way above that by 15 degrees for the high temperature and the records. Well, remember this set back in 2012, just three years ago, 78 degrees. A lot of us remember that basking in the upper 70s. That was tremendous. And 1895, a goose egg was the record low. Well, here's a look at future forecast, our computer model. And notice we have an abundance of clear skies off to the west as well. Courtesy of high pressure at the surface, this high pressure is gradually going to meander off to our east. And as it does, still controlling our weather, bringing the quiet conditions, but also a return southwesterly wind flow, which will help to boost our readings up even more than today. I think we'll see 60s not just tomorrow across much of the viewing area, but also into Monday as well before this next weather maker approaches us from the northwest. I mean, it's not a barn burner, but it certainly could produce produce a little bit of precipitation heading into Monday night and very early Tuesday morning. A close up view of future forecast. Our computer model shows a pretty quiet day tomorrow with an increase in clouds late in the day and into Sunday night. And then again, Monday looks pretty quiet with a mix of sun and clouds and that rain approaching from the north by Monday night. If you're traveling around the Badger State for tomorrow on your Sunday, north, central and south, quiet conditions, a little more cloudiness closer to the UP, more sunshine down to the south. But everywhere, temperatures could touch 60 degrees or better, even up to the north in Rhinelander. So your storm team forecast for us overnight, mainly clear and mild into the middle 20s for low temperatures. And then for tomorrow on our Sunday, look for bright blue skies, plenty of sunshine, a bit breezy and very warm. Everybody around the area should come close to or exceed 60 degrees. Here comes your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast and get ready. Big downturn coming our way on St. Patty's Day Tuesday. Our highs go from the 60s to the mid 40s on St. Patty's Day. And then for the balance of the upcoming work week, readings remaining a little closer to seasonal averages.